so today we are going to do a Dutch pour using Lakeside Pigment um, from Fluid Art Company. Uh, they are the best pigments I've ever used. I love them. Um, so I've never done a Dutch pour on um, wood today. So this is going, this is a, I think it's a 20 inch cradle round. And um, I've primed it twice with kills. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. Um, hopefully it'll dry great. Um, so about, about the pigment. So the last couple of months I've been using or trying to figure out a recipe that works real good in the Dutch pours to where it'll still have beautiful cells. Um, so what I do is use the Liquitex pouring medium. Hold on, I'll show you. This one. This is the one I use. I'll pour some of this about, I don't know, half an ounce or so. And then, um put the TLP pigment in it, uh, let it disperse in just the Liquitex, and then I fill up the rest like another half ounce with Australian Floetrol. And I think, I'm pretty sure you could use American Floetrol if you want, but I just wanted to test this out and see how good the cells would be on Australian Floetrol. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flood the canvas. Let me show you. Probably should have put some gloves on. Okay. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Um, uh, I, I've been so busy. I've it's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but I don't know if any of you guys know, but I'm, I'm in recovery. Um, I have 30 months clean as of two days ago and, um, I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys and, you know, let you know a little bit about myself and my story. I was a drug addict for about, um, 15, 20, <laughs> 15 years and, um, I pretty much lost everything in my life, and two years ago I decided that it was um, enough, and I finally got clean, and uh, and then I found Fluid Art about a, a year later, and it has helped me tremendously. Um, yeah, more than more than I thought it would actually. So I'm just gonna make sure my sides are covered. I hope this works. I've never painted. As I've used um, the Shelly Art technique on the cradle rounds, but I've never done Floetrol. Um, but I did kills it twice, so it should be okay. So yeah, if um, if you're wondering why I haven't been really posting to my YouTube, it's because I, I honestly was having trouble with trying to find my identity and I didn't really know how to, you know, be myself on camera. So I said, you know what, let's just tell you guys a little bit of my story. Babe? Oh, sorry, I thought that was my husband. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll start with that. <laughs> Uh, I'm in recovery, and I am addicted to uh, fluid art now. But if any of you guys are curious, um, I really, I just, <laughs> I just graduated drug court, uh, which was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life, but I was the very first one to actually graduate the program here in our county in Tennessee, and uh it, it really meant a lot to me that I was the first one to, that was in this county to actually get clean and, and work the program. Um, okay, I think that's pretty good. Oh, my hair, we'll set that right there. I have no, yes I do. 
I'm sorry, y'all. Give me one second. Let's do this. Let's put a little bit more. I think this wood's going to soak in some of this. So I want to make sure I have enough on there. Let's see if I can. That ain't going to work. Okay. Here, we're going to do this one more time. So anyways, that's me. My name is Leah and I'm rec in recovery and uh, I'm just trying to build my life back and using this fluid arc has helped me tremendously. Now we're going to pop the bubbles. Oh, and if you're, and if you're wondering, I, I make my, um, this, this paint a little thicker, um, than my actual colors, because I don't want, um, the base to swallow up my pretty colors I put down. So we're going to, I don't know where I want to lay this. Not sure I was wanting to go for a yin yang, but that's what we'll do today, I guess. <laughs> All right. The first one was just um, Artist Loft Turquoise. This next one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Um, the third one is Dioxazine Purple. Maybe. Mm, let me poke this. There we go. Alright, the next one is Amsterdam Greenish Blue. I'm gonna have to fix my bottles. Okay. The next one is Folk Art Icy Blue. Or first here, we're going to drizzle some of this. Um Lakeside pigment. Well, no, I'm going to do that next. All right, then, yeah. Lakeside. Oh, yeah, that's a great consistency. I want to put a little bit more of that in here. Okay, we're going to do Deep Violet Liquitex. Hey, babe. Yeah. I'm almost done. Okay. okay. And then, ooh, one last color. Folk Art Sapphire. I know that's a lot of colors. Okay, and then I just add a little bit of white next to it to help it flow on both sides. I do not blow the color completely over my paints. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, like this. Okay. Hold on. 
Let me torch. Okay, so I need a little bit more white. Okay, now we're gonna blow it out. There we go. Here, I'll let you guys see a close up. I've got to come through and fix a few things. But this is what we've got so far. I probably needed to put a little bit more paint down. And I do know that my base was a little too thick, so I am going to have to thin it down just a little bit. So what we're going to do is blow out some of this color. Um, what can I do? Do I have a straw? Yes, I do have a straw. There we go. This is really pretty. that part right there. Oh, this is really gorgeous, y'all. Um, mm. Babe, I'm thinking Um, hold on one second. Hey guys, so I'm going to bring you down. I'm not going to touch it. I was thinking about adding um, something, but I'm going to leave it negative space. So here is, look, let me switch it around. This is, this color right here is the lakeside. And look at these beautiful cells it made. It is pretty. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please leave some comments and let you know if I should have, um, or let me know if I should have added some maybe color over here or color at the top. Um, but I think it turned out pretty. That's my favorite spot right there.